Um, okay, so oh, you see me in the top right hand corner. Um, so what I'm going to do is just run through um, using Zscaler uh, mobile portal as the IDP um, and how to enroll um, corporate devices uh, in Intune. So um, got a couple of things going on here. So just you know, log me out. Uh, this admin at wellskeep.net. Pass that logs in. Um, so I've got my mobile configuration here, um, and I've got my client connector IDP token here. Um, and in the Zscaler admin portal, uh, if we come under authentication settings identity providers um, I say that my domain welshkeep.com specifically so everything else uses uh, Azure but um, the things I want to use uh, mobile IDP for I'll identify saying welshkeep.com uh, and they'll enroll that way um, so I might need a specific domain for these devices um, and so over here in um, Microsoft's uh, Endpoint Manager, um, I've got a couple of things going on. Um, so I've got um, some managed apps. So under iOS, uh, I have my client connector that's going to install. Um, and then I have an app configuration profile here for iOS. And the properties for this, um, I send it the device token, uh, domain, um, my Zscaler cloud, and then I can send it these, uh, the serial number as the username. So in this case, curly bracket, curly bracket, serial number, curly bracket, curly bracket. Okay. Um, so that is configuring the options that get sent to Zscaler Client Connector. This is important. The second thing that happens when Client Connector gets installed, Client Connector needs to set up a VPN profile. That VPN profile tells the iOS VPN to make a connection to Client Connector because Client Connector is going to make its onward connection. Okay, so the VP, so so you can allow iOS, you can install Client Connector, and you know have to enter some uh, security token, and then it'll go and go off and create that. It's not the great user experience that we want. So what you do is you're under Devices, oh, and Microsoft seem to want to keep prompt me to log in. Um, which is great um, for security, but it seems to happen every 15 or half minutes or half an hour, so we'll log in again there. Um, and so we come under Devices, uh, Configuration Profiles, and so this is the, the default one that we set up. And, and here you can see I did exactly the same thing. Device token, username is serial number. And it seems that Microsoft does not treat this correctly. The serial number doesn't get replaced. It actually sends the username as curly bracket, curly bracket, serial number, curly bracket, curly bracket, uh, which is just daft. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a custom one. Okay. And the custom one is this custom P list, and I will uh, bring it up here so you can see it. Um, it's essentially the same thing, but it's doing it. It sends two things. So this is the VPN configuration. It sends the auth name is the serial number, um, and it says certificate. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, we also then send the VPN vendor config also sends the username as the serial number. We're sending welshgeek.com. Um, and these are the uh, other bits that go into Zscaler Client Connector. So these are essentially a replica of the other things. 
I'm not entirely sure these need to be replicated, but this is what I've got set up. So we are, have the app configuration that gets pushed when the app is installed. We have the VPN configuration defines the VPN and we should just work. So if I come across here um, and I will um, go back to um, my phone um, and we will go to um, company portal which is probably sign me out like everything else um, Go, we'll go ahead and download um, this. It should prompt me in a second to install, um, but we'll take a look at the um, VPN management. So I've got, um, if this can zoom in, oh, maybe we can zoom in a bit. There we go, make it easier for you all to see. Um, so this is my uh, MDM configuration. So we can go more details. We've got the Zscaler app settings. Um, and uh, that's really about it in here and it should say apps we're waiting for that um, app to be installed and then if we look at the VPN we can see the VPN configurations there and you can see it's completed the serial number in that configuration okay um, so that came down from that mobile config file um, once I actually get um, this installed, um, I'm not quite sure why it hasn't installed. Maybe we can just go ahead and uh, install it from the app store and you see it's got the configuration so it goes ahead and logs in I don't get prompted because we've got those configuration options in there the first one saying or well, the first set saying this is my cloud name uh, I'll push notifications. This is my cloud name. This is my device token for the IDP authentication against the mobile portal. Uh, this is my cloud name. And my username is the serial number. So that got completed here as part of the mobile config. Um, and then in turn, that then sets up um, the VPN configuration, which now you see is completed with the serial number there as well. Okay, and so when we then come back to um, here and we go to the mobile portal, yeah, keep me logged in, when we go to enrolled devices, that device is now re-enrolled and it has sent it through with the serial number um, and everything else about it. Um, we, could, uh, we could pass other information through as well. Um, so there we go. That's how we configure a mobile portal as the IDP um, with passing the serial number using a custom um, mobile config file um, for the VPN settings uh, for Intune. I um, hope that is useful. Um, and there we go.